In terms of scale, the biggest American disaster of the war is the loss of Charlestown by Benjamin Lincoln. In terms of consequences, I think that the most significant defeat of the war is the loss of New York by George Washington in the late summer and fall of 1776. But the consequences here are actually beneficial to the Patriots because it is in the wake of those defeats that George Washington matures as a strategist. He matures as the commander-in-chief of American forces. He will not make afterward the same kinds of mistakes that he made in the summer and early fall of 1776. He also is going to win from Congress as a result of those reverses a commitment to help him build the kind of professional army that he knows is necessary to defeat the British. Yes, yeah, so he did. He, Washington did earn his stripes. A after that campaign, um, he trusts his own judgment more. He also learns which advisors are worth listening to more. Ironically, though, uh, one of his most trusted advisors, probably his closest advisor for the balance of the war, Nathaniel Green, gives him horrible advice during the defense of Manhattan, and that is the decision to, uh, the advice to defend Fort Washington, which was terrible advice, and it leads to a calamity, the, the, the loss of, of, of 3,000 Continental soldiers that uh, uh, really would not come back into the war. But Washington and Green are both able to overcome and learn from the mistakes that they made in the New York area in 1776, and they're better commanding officers afterward because of it.